Today I show you the cheapest way to integrate dimmable 24 volt lights into your Luxon system. This can be RGBW, just a fixed white color, 3000 Kelvin, 4000 Kelvin, or tunable white. And I have a super cool hack for you, how to turn this cheap pendulum light from Amazon into a 24 volt dimmable light to dim with the Luxon RGBW dimmer. Let's go. A lot of people underestimate the power of the Luxon RGBW dimmer, 24 volt. There is the DIN rail mounted one for the cabinet. There is a wireless version on air and the wired version on tree. And for both wired and wireless, there is a compact version when you would like to mount it somewhere in a suspended ceiling or below a kitchen island if the LED strip is there. But what almost nobody knows is that you can turn this dimmer RGBW, so color and warm white channel, into four times white. Each of these four channels has 50 watts, so I bought some third-party 24 volt spots with 5 watt each. So I could put on this 80 bucks dimmer four rooms with up to 10 of these dimmable 24 volt light fittings. Please Luxon, don't cancel my platinum partner status. Yes, of course, there is also Luxon PWM spots in the Luxon shop. So these here would behave the exact same way as the ones I show you in the video, but I did not have those in mind. While cutting the video, I was like, oh fuck, I will get a call from Luxon if they see this. <laughs> in addition to the one light in the middle, you have this outer ring with a LED around, so the light is super homogene in the whole room. So these are super as well. Luxon for the win. But also I could just use some white color LED strips instead, also on one channel. Yeah, and of course you need the power supply in the cabinet for those. And also the lamps might be a little bit more expensive than the high voltage ones. That's all true, but I really hate high voltage dimming. There is the Luxon dimmer extension with four channels. I think 500 bucks I posted here. And then again, depending on the light you buy, you might end up with flickering, maybe at 30% dimming, the light just turns off. So that's all shit. I go with the 24 volt, perfectly dimmable, like mwah. And what's really cool is that there is 24 volt light fittings for the classical GU10, E14. Where is it here? The big lighting bulb. This one here is 24 volt as well, as well. This is 24 volt as well. So you can turn also, not like super old fashioned lamps like you would now imagine with these, but there is ceiling lamps with a blind cover, a milky cover, which looks super modern, also with these light fittings. So you can use any lamp that you like. I think I bought this pendulum light for 15 or 20 euros on the German Amazon. I tried to put some links also for internationals down below. And with this light here, you can then snip it on the cover and then put it together like this. And then you have a super nice dimmed light for let's say 50 bucks combined. And then you need one dimming channel out of the four. So in theory, 20 bucks, then a little power supply, which is capable of all the loads. Yeah, that's it. So if I still got you on the line, then let's have a look on how to wire these different types of lamps to the dimmer. The tree version of the dimmer is powered with 24 volt here and also has the tree connection here. I just put it out of the cabinet to show you, but we will program it in the config in a second. And here I now connected a color LED strip to it, RGBW. So we need all the outputs here for the color LED. You see it in the data sheet as well, but it goes like this, RGBW, and you have the 24 volt plus here. So these four channels are the minus. This will be important if we change it. So if we use it now for a 3000 Kelvin 24 volt spot, there is a slimmer version of this as well. This has five watts, this has eight watts. As I said, it could also be a LED strip in one color like this. Then we need one channel. One, two, three, four. So just the other way as you would read it. <laughs> and then we need to remember the minus is this one here. And that's how we wire the first circuit. 
Yes, Richard, that's really nice, but how can I connect three more to it? Because the plus of the dimmer is already occupied now with the first cable. So what I like to do for each of those dimmers, I put one of those clamps here to distribute the 24 volt for this dimmer to all the different circuits. I just found the bigger version of it with eight inputs, but the orange one is the same, just with four rows. And you see everyone is connected to everyone. And if I would put this one here, power it up with 24 volt, then I connect it also from the terminal block to the 24 volt of the dimmer, because this 24 here is the same as this 24 up here on the output. 24 volt to all the lights, to all the lighting circuits, and then the minus coming back four times to just those four channels here. So this would be loose going to the terminal block, 24 volt, and here we just have the minus on the dimmer. I have two more special lamps here with me. This one is just tunable white, so you can adjust the Kelvin of the light from 3000 Kelvin to 5000, for example, depending on the lamp. And therefore you need a dedicated warm white channel and a cold white channel and everything in between is mixed. So 50% of this brightness and 50% of that brightness is exactly the Kelvin in the middle of the range. On our four channel RGBW dimmer, we can also set it to tunable white. Then we need two of the channels for the tunable lighting circuit. And again, this can be a LED strip, this can be spots like these. I will link some products down below. And last but not least, there is also the option for color RGBW spots. And here it's the exact same thing as with the LED strips. You need all four channels for RGBW. So let me put this dimmer back in its place in our demo cabinet. And now let's program it for an RGB color LED strip. So I'm connected to the cabinet. I see on tree, I find a new device. I can do the search. I find it here. Let's call it effect light in the room, living room. And now on the left hand side, you see the actuator type and we can select here, smart, smart tunable white, smart tunable plus individual, standard individual or smart individual channels. If we put it to standard to start with, then we see we have an RGB and a white dedicated channel. And in the past, that's what, that was how we connected it to Loxone. And then in a the lighting controller, we have the RGB and the white as two individual controls. But nowadays, I would always put it to smart because this has numerous advantages. Let me show you in the app. Now we have here our effect light and we have the option for different colors. Or we can also mix some red or some blue to it to receive the different white versions. And with the smart actuator, I think it's super cool because then we can also use a daylight control where from sunrise to sunset, it will adjust the whiteness or the color of the white, so to say depending on how late it is. Also, you have a color change here. You can set different points and then you can select what interval should it switch the color, what brightness should it have. That's the smart actuator for RGBW. If we now change it to smart individual channels, then we have our four individual channels and we have the first one here as our LED spot which we can control like this, save, bada boom, bada bum, which looks like this now, just a zero to 100% control. Come on, fuck it. What you see flickering here now is only in the camera because it takes some images where the light is off. It's a PWM dimming, so it's like in a super short time interval. It's five milliseconds on, five milliseconds off. So it's 50% brightness for a human eye. But you do not see this in reality. It's just with the dimmer. But let's test it until how low I can go. Before it's off, it's 10% 
for this one here. And the last thing would be to put it on smart tunable if we have two tunable channels or if we just have one tunable LED strip for example and the other two should be individual channels then there is an option for this as well. Then I have my smart tunable safe. So it looks like this now. We have the option for the color temperature and the brightness as well. And you can now shift the color temperature from cold white to warm white. If you compare it like here, like this is the warm white. And that was another crazy video. Hope you enjoyed it. Give it some love with a thumbs up. Consider subscribing so you don't miss out on the next crazy video I already got in my head. See you then.